hey guys welcome back to my channel just wanted to bring you a Shein haul today if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel if you're coming back to my channel thank you for joining me all right so let's get started i don't want to make this video very long yes my fingers are naked i took off my nails to do a new set so forgive the empty nails all right so the bag is too big, so I can't put it on my desk. So needless to say, I'll just grab stuff out of the, the box and put it up on top of my table. So the first thing I purchased, if I can get it open here. I saw this and I thought it was really cool because when I'm looking for a pair of tweezers, I can never find them. So I bought this, and of course it's pink. I bought this for my nail desk. And let me just grab a pair of tweezers real quick. And what you do is you put the tweezers in here. Oops. Shoot through the holes, like right here, like that. And there you go. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six slots. So you can put your tweezers in and you can put it on top of your desk. Oh, sorry. And you can put it on top of your desk and just put it on the side so you can find your tweezers. I thought that was so cool to have on there. So that will stay on my desk now that I've shown you guys. So I purchased this. I saw a nail sister, Momo, call this and it's for the dust collector. They're very thin um, sheets. Let's see if I can get one out. So they're really thin sheets and you put it underneath or on top of your dust collector. So while you finish filing or whatever the case may be and you're done using your, um, excuse me, done using your dust collector, your dust collector and you're ready to clean up and stuff you can it has all the the dust on here and you just grab it and toss it out so it's i'm assuming it's supposed to save on the dust um filters that you would have to um change out so i'm gonna try this on my dust collector i hope it works because you know those air fil dust collector filters are not cheap. And I got some more of these because I go through these like hotcakes. So I bought, I believe, like five of these. So yeah, I got five of these. They're the um, dental bibs. So then I got, I got some tips. I got four different kinds. So these are my favorite right here, which I have a box that's already opened. Have a box that's already opened and I like to use these when I do um, collabs with my nail sisters or if I wanted to just do a quick press on set for myself so I really like these so if it's wonderfully and they're nice and long look how long those are so I bought another one of these So I believe, usually says it here, what kind they are. Uh, 12 sizes, numbers, extra long full cover tips. That's all it says. Um, it doesn't say like a C curve, which it does have a C curve on there. So I got one of those and then these are I think these are just, those are the extra, no, these are the extra, extra long ones. Those are just the um, extra long. 
And it brings 12 sizes. So those are the full cover tips. These are the just the tips. So that's cool. Very nice to have for my long nail ladies. I think I'm gonna be able to get it back in here. are the square I want to say no these are coffin extra long um full color tips but these are just the tips like the other ones and these are the extra long full cover tips and these are square I don't know if you can see it in there it's just a square one sorry for the glare ladies it's just a square one full cover one and I got myself a shirt. I thought this was the cutest thing. So I got myself a t-shirt. Now I've bought t-shirts before from um, from Timu. And I thought this was so cool. It says, I match energy. Show me how we're going to act today. <laughs> Love that. Love that thing. So I got that. Now I can stick it in the washer and wash it and wear it. I wish I could wear it to work to my customers. I could be like, let me match your energy. Hey, hey. Um, so, I got a couple of brushes and I want to see how well they are going to work. Not sure. But we will see. Um, I have 100% Kalinsky brushes. But I thought this was so pretty. So I want to see how well it works. And I believe this is a size 14. And it says 100% Kalinsky. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says it there, 100% Kalinsky. So I'm going to break her in and see how she's... She's going to work. I'm hoping she will. Now, I usually use a size 8 or 10. I have not used a size 14 yet. But, you know, we'll see how that works. This, I believe, is a size 8. Yeah, I got this a size 8, I believe. Yeah. Look how pretty she is. Oh, let me... Get her out of the box. Look at that. Look at all the stars. The little glitters and stuff. Those, it's aesthetically pleasing. And we'll see how well she works. She's pinched. So that's cool. So we will see how she works out. Now the acrylic brushes that I have do not have a top to it. So I really like that. It does have a top. So I will let you know when I use it, if she's good or not. Cause you know, acrylic brushes can be, get expensive and it does say 100% um, Kalinsky acrylic brush. So we will see. Oops. Something broke, crap. All right. Okay. So the next thing I got, this bag up here. So the next thing I got is this. So when I must confess, when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, it's to clean my acrylic. Whoop, it's to clean my acrylic brush." But it isn't. So I watched a video on this, and what it is is it's a dappin dish. So when you use acrylic with glitter in it. You put your monomer like you do usually, and when you put your, and of course I don't have a brush, but 
um so let's say let's say for instance i had you know i'm doing a set of nails and there's acrylic on my brush i can go like this and then the glitter falls through the little holes and it keeps it from I, I it isolates it from the rest of the monomer i thought that was so cool it is kind of small but I think it's really cool and I can't wait to use it to see if it doesn't work. Now, it does have like um, the rubber on the, the top to it. So like if it falls over, your monomer should be secure and not spill all over your desk, which that's a nice feature. So that's cool. I can't wait to break her in. And the first one came broken to me, so I had to return it and get have them send me a new one so i got a few of these and i thought it was really cool especially for photos so I think I can get oh, sorry i think that's all the ones oh no there's no okay so, I got these, and they're really cool. They're like cuffs for when you're taking photos, and I thought it was really cool, and I bought different kinds. So, like, when you're taking photos, like, let's see. So, you put it on like this, and then you just, like, take photos of your set of nails. I thought that was really cool. So you can be like this, look really oncy oncy, really cute. I think that was so neat. So I'm very excited to use these when I do my photos with my clients. And it brings one in each, it brings one in um, a pack. So I got it in white, I got it in, I got three white ones and I got two black ones. And I thought this was really cool for Valentine's Day next year. Really cool, it has little hearts in it. Can you see that? So, and then this is just a really pretty lacy one. This is the pearl one that I showed you. This one reminds me of like a skirt ruffle. You see the little pearl cuffs, it's really cool. And then this is just another like pearl has little pearls on it also. So I thought that was really neat. Just to um, give a little something to elevate my, my picture taking. Now, let me just take some stuff out of here. So I got these, and I got a few of them. Um, because if, you're new to my channel um i just moved my nail space from downstairs in my dining room to one of the bedrooms upstairs in my house so um i i'm still it's still a work in progress as far as getting everything situated um everything's unpacked thank god um but I have wires um, because it is a bigger room. I have wires and I need to contain them on my desk. So I bought these. I'm sorry, I'm still taking things out of the bag so I don't have to keep reaching in it. Um, so I bought these to hold, sorry, to hold the wires down. And yes, I bought like four packages, but I thought this was really neat. So you can hold your wires and it has this little sticky tab thing that you can just like stick under your desk or something just to pinch the wires here. Or if you have like um, phone chargers and stuff like that, you can like leave, connect it to the bottom of your desk, like on the wall of your desk like this and then just keep it there instead of it falling on the floor and you stepping on it or tripping on it by mistake. So, I bought those for that specific reason, which is really cool, because when I leave my nail desk, I unplug like my, my nail lamp and like anything that doesn't need to be plugged in. 
I unplug them and I put it inside the nail lamp just so it's not on the floor. So that being said, I just needed something so I don't step or trip over wire, loose wires or whatever the case may be. Um, I bought some nail swatches. Now, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I should have read it. But I've never had this experience before when I've um, purchased nail swatches. Now, with these nail swatches, these are regular, these, these are regular size. So now if I look, let me see if I can find a regular one, which I probably don't have a regular one because I use all of them. But these are much smaller. Like, let me take one out. And I just was like, what the what? Why are they so short? It's really short. So like, I wanted, my idea of getting so many swatches swatch sticks is I want to go through all my gel polishes and re-swatch them and take out like you know because after a while they get old and ugly and stuff like that and I have um swatches of nail gel polishes that I no longer have so like do you see the it's so short it's like it's so tiny now I compared the other swatches that I had that were the, the regular length. Now, the actual nail itself is the same size. It's just the stick that is shorter. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I did buy four packs of it, so I guess I'm stuck with it. So it is what it is. I mean, I guess by me re-swatching all my stuff, you know, they'll be all the same size. But I, I don't know. It didn't have a size. It didn't say it was going to be short. It didn't say, you know, it looks like regular size. So I did buy one, two, I bought five, six, six of these and two of these. So I wanted to use these for my acrylics um, and these for my gel polish, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that, you know, it doesn't look too horrible. Okay. Um, the next thing I got was some magnetic nail stands. Now, I don't know why I purchased these. I think it was in my, in my cart. And I was just like, you know, yes, yeah, select, purchase, purchase, purchase. So, oh, I purchased this on purpose. Yes, I did. My nail sister purchased me this one, and I thought it was so cute. So I wanted one. I just thought this would be bigger. It doesn't have much weight to it. Um, do you see the size? It's just so much more smaller, but I so pretty. So I purchased this, hoping that it would have been the same size as that. The magnet is good. I mean for what I want it for to display it. It's very pretty. Look at that. Oh, so, um, you know, I guess I'll keep her. <laughs> Even though she's like really, she's small. I expected her to be like my pumpkin. Um, the one thing that I will say that I don't like, these are not metal. So, you know, when you put some pressure down to it, it will snap. So, I don't know how I feel about that. But, needless to say, she's here. She's mine now, so it is what it is. Hey, sarah, sarah. We live and we learn. Right, let me put that away. I can toss this. All right. So, the next thing I got, again, I thought I only purchased one, but I guess I purchased two. Um, these cute little bracelets. I thought they were so cute. So, pretty. She pretty. So, I guess I have to. Okay, sarah, sarah. So, there we go. She looked pretty. I like her. All right. That's garbage. Um, I got me a stamping plate. Yes, girls. I am trying to um, get into stamping. And what I really liked about this it had like a spec sheet so you can like see if the image is gonna fit on your nail that you're doing 
which I thought is cool. Um, like these spec sheets come in the clear gelling stamper one, um, but I've never gotten um, a spec sheet with like my um, my stamping plates from Shein or, or Timo or anything like that. So I thought that was really nice. Look how pretty it is. This is a uh, nail art paint, it's called XYDB16. And I just thought it was so pretty because of the moons and the little kitty cat in the moon. So pretty. So I'm very pleased with that. I'll put that to the side because I gotta put that in my stamping cart. Um, this is another purchase, and it's um, double-faced double -faced tape, and this is for, like, I really want to put, I want to go to, like, Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that and get a, uh, I have a six-way um, power, power strip, but I want to get one with a longer cord, so when I plug it into the wall, it actually reaches under my desk, and I can, like, hide my, um, my power strip so that's what this is for and this is also for the wires so i can like keep them you know tamed and then it, they're not like all over the place so that's what this is for um this is another little doodah that i saw doodah huh um so you know how you ladies get and now i've messed up many a brushes um when I first started my nail journey and, you know, getting like the acrylic out of it and stuff like that. So this is like a comb for your acrylic brush. And I don't have an acrylic brush here with me. Oh crap, um, let me see. So, all right. So you would literally take this and it's a comb for your acrylic brush so you can get all the acrylic out of it like when it's soft and stuff like that isn't that neat and then this it's a thin picker so you can get in there and like push it out see that point she's sharp so keep this on there because if not you're gonna stab yourself but I thought that was really neat and I'm excited to use, well, I don't want to have to use it, but now if I get acrylic stuck in my brush, I have a tool to clean it. All right. And then I bought some of these. I actually bought three of these. Um, and this is just, uh, my nail sister Jess put me on to these, and these are eyeshadow applicators. Um, I don't use eyeshadow, but <clears throat> you can use it to clean up your, you know, your cuticle area. So, like, if you're doing um, gel polish and you need to get close to the edge to get, you know, product off of it, it's nice and thin and it's thin enough that you can get into that crease. So, I got me a few of those. And I think I paid, like... A dollar for three um, so I got some of those and then I got some stickers I got this one and it's a 5d sticker oh it comes with two okay so I really want to do <clears throat> some like card um, nail set um, I seen them excuse me <clears throat> I seen them um, online, like Instagram and stuff like that, where ladies have done like a deck of cards, um, on their nails. And I thought these were really cool. These are 5D, so they do have a little, um, puffiness to them, but I mean, I'm, I'm so ready to use them. They're really cool. So I also got some Fimo's that I got that are very, they're thin. They're not like the females that you get that are really thick and they're hard to encapsulate. These are like really thin. And I always, and I was like, man, I wanna do a deck of cards so bad. So now I have the stickers to do it with. Okay, and I got these for Easter and these were so cute. 
really excited to use these and these are 5d as well and it's, there's only one sheet that comes. Hopefully I can get it out. Look how pretty that is. And they are, they have like texture to them, but it's so pretty. So I'm excited to have these do some Easter nails with them. I, I should have bought more instead of just one. Um, and then I got these. These are 5D as well. And I thought that was so pretty. They remind me of like one of those um, paintings that you see at the, um, you know, art museums in Manhattan. So pretty. So pretty. Um, and then I got some more stickers. And these, one, two, three, four. So this is a pack of, it's 12, 12 um, sh squares. You just have to cut them. Um, but I thought they were really cool. So they got some Japanese writing and some um, red flowers, some, you know, um, cherry blossoms, and they got some seed, some pelicans, and they got some like um, uh, lilies, lily pads and stuff like that. So pretty. These are some deers. It'll be good for um, Christmas. So I thought this was really unique and cool. So very excited to have this. Okay, now we're moving on to the charms. That's why I had this ready. Oh, one more set of stickers. Hold on one second. And these are really cute. For Easter, some bunny stickers. Oh, so pretty. They're so cute. So, so cute. Oh, and I got these. Um, my sister, nail sister Jess, has a Facebook group called um, The Nail Life. And we play bingo twice a week, every two weeks. And one of my nail sisters had like these chess pieces on her board. And I was like, that is so cool. So I was like, I don't need chess pieces or like little decorative pieces. I was like, I just need some simple, you know, pieces to put on my numbers. So I know um, what numbers I've already done. So I got a, a bag of these and I think it comes with a hundred. I only need 25. So I thought that was cool. I think I paid like 75 cents for that. So it wasn't nothing major. Okay, so then I got these. Again, I think it was in my cart because, yeah. Oh, I've seen um, Nails by Val. Or um, Slay by Val. Um, she is, she does press on nails and she's a YouTuber. And she had these stands and you see how they don't come apart. And I thought that this would be real cool because it's just, it's, lo it's long. It's not short like the other one. Let's see if I can grab it. So do you see this one? Like if you compare it, compare it, this one is way longer and has like a curvature. So I think that it would work well when I'm putting the nail. I think that's. That's the idea I had when I went, when I had, I put it in my cart. And I think these connect to each other. Yes. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. Okay, now I got it and I can't get it out. Hold on one second. All right, got it out. So yes, they do link into each other. So I thought that was cool. Um, if I don't use them, they'll go on a giveaway or something. Not sure. Like I said, it was in my cart and I just checked everything and put it to cash out. I didn't really pay attention. Except for the things that I put in um, later on in my cart. We'll put that there. Okay, so I also got a few charms. So 
let me show you what I got. These are really cute. Um, get a tray real quick. You know, you always think that you're prepared, but you're not really prepared. <laughs> All right. So these are really cute. Look at those. These are really nice. We got the dollar sign. We got a little ribbon with um, a flower. We got a little bunny. We got a crown, some stars, a Japanese or oriental symbol. So let's put the bunny on here. Look how cute. He will, um, you will have to encapsulate around the bunny so everything doesn't get caught on it. Or you can put the bunny on like on a spinner or something like that. But I thought that was really cute because the bunny has like, I don't know, it's really cute. Or you can, it has a hole in his ear. So I'm pretty sure you can create, make this into like a jump ring, which is really cool. Look at this one. This one's really pretty. Look at that. Some pretty rhinestones, a little heart wreath. That's really cool. Ooh, she's very pretty. Like these. Put her back because ah, I will lose them. See, look, I'm already making a mess. I'm trying to not make this video super long because you know me, I can make videos extra long. All right, put that there. So then I got these bunnies as well. And it's so pretty. It has like a pink rhinestone. So cute, so, so cute. And that's what she looks like on the nail. So pretty. And you see that it is gonna stand out on the, um, on the nail. So be careful for all you long hair ladies. Make sure that, you know, you know what you're putting on your nail because um, it will snag you. And there's some more bunnies here. Yeah, I went crazy because I don't have any bunny charms. I have Halloween charms. I have Christmas charms. Um, I have 420 charms, but I don't really have any charms for Easter. So I thought I should get some. I wonder if this light is like too much. Maybe too much. Okay. Is that better, guys? I don't know. I'm trying not to blind you. So I got these, and I thought they were so cute. So they're smaller than the, the other bunnies that I showed you. So this will work well for, um, smaller than these. So it will work for work well for some short nails if you want it. So she's pretty. So you can see her body, but her ears don't stand out as much as these did. So that is cool. I should go back and get me another pack of these for, for next year. Okay. Is that it? Oh, oh, no. One more. One more and then we're done. One and done. One and done. So I got these pretty... I don't want to say it's a butterfly, but it's like... A star kind of and then it has um, these pretty rhinestones on the corner of it so you can either do it like this in your nail or vertically I would do it like this just so I would be able to encapsulate you know get in between um, the nail and the gem and like make sure that I can get that encased real good but she does, she's not very lifted, but she's beautiful. She is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I am very pleased with that. And I and this is another one that I should have gotten too, but I didn't know how big or how small they were. So 
you know, looks can be deceiving on a, um, on the screen or on the picture when you see it. So that is all. Wow. I, I did really good. All right, guys. Um, the next video I have for you is I have a Timu haul coming up. So, you know, make sure you check it out and I will see you soon. Love you guys. Make sure you give the, the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Bye, guys.